Welcome back. It's time now for the business day. President of the Jamaica Chamber of Commerce, Lloyd Distant Jr., has disclosed that the COVID-19 pandemic may have forced more Jamaicans to set up informal businesses. Mr. Distant was speaking at the opening of the Montego Bay Chambers of Commerce's new office in Fairview yesterday. Andrew Laidley has a story. In 2019, it was estimated that about 40 to 50 percent of the economy was informal. It's a figure that had been shrinking before the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. But with more Jamaicans forced into survival mode, JCC President Lloyd Distant Jr. is concerned that the informal economy is growing. Coming into 2020, a lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people, in their own pivoting is to start their own business. So in, in my own mind, the informal economy has grown. Um, that's not good for the country, it's not good for the nation. He says although financial conditions are strained, entrepreneurs should aspire to start their business on a legitimate foundation. I understand the hustle thing, you know, I understand. We all need to hustle, we all need to make our money, we all need to ensure our families are living and surviving. I would certainly encourage us all to Bear in mind that as we are doing these things, we should continue to encourage businesses to get into the formal economy. As for registered companies that are struggling to stay afloat, Mr. Distant is suggesting a strategic review focused on new ways to pivot. And some 24 to 26 percent of businesses say they're not sure that they're going to survive the next 12 months. But everybody else who says that they're going to survive has said that they've already pivoted their business or they're thinking about pivoting their business. So again, for us as business people, and I, I really want to sort of spin a lot of this into our small and medium-sized enterprises, it becomes very important for us to have the proactive thought processes around pivoting our businesses as well. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. Gas prices are going up tomorrow. A litre of 87.90 gasoline will sell for $1.91 more. 96 cents will be added to the price of automotive diesel and $1.17 will be added to the ultra-low sulfur diesel. It's costing 54 cents more for kerosene. Propane will increase by $1.70 and butane will go up by $1.77. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $154.50. The Canadian dollar sold for $126.63. The pound is going for $218.23, while the euro closed at $189.90. And the JSE index gained 882 points today, and the junior market index is up 27 points. Among the winners were Blue Power, Main Event, Everything Fresh, SSL Venture Capital, and Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances. On the losing side were... PBS US dollar shares, Caribbean Assurance Brokers, Express Catering, Mayberry, Jamaican Equities, and First Rock US dollar shares. And that's the business day. News from overseas when we return.